I've always been interested in the culture of Chile, or Chile, and thought it'd make a great Pokemon region. I am Mr. Money to thank for your inspiration. Enjoy the video. Also, huge shout outs to my friend on Discord, Shamal427, and Mr. Leafy the Leafion. They were humongous help in this project, and this video wouldn't exist without them, so go sub to them, or else I will eat the last double stuffed Torio. Insert totally awesome cool intro. Wow, wasn't that swell? What if Chile or Chile? What's the Pokemon region? Chile is a very long country, as many cities with saw plenty of old cultures and what sort of topic going over five things in this order. Seas, towns and story, post game shit, starters and new Pokemon, legendaries and titles, and new gym badges and leaders. Cities, towns and story. Starting town, Erika. You meet Professor Aspen, Professor of the Alec region. And you get your starter Pokemon along with your rival, Aqua. Yeah, I know, it's a terrible drawing. Shut up. And Professor Aspen was that. But I screwed that up, so I'm going to pause. And here we go, Professor Aspen. And yes, I gave a prosthetic arm, and it's another female professor, because I thought that would be nice to incorporate again into it, and I thought prosthetic arm would be cool for the professor to have. On Route 2, you encounter some of the Gretz and Evil team of the region. Here's what they look like. It's Team Cassava, based off of the poisonous fruit that, if used correctly, makes it the wonderful pudding known as Tapioca. So Grunts have basic Pokemon like Grubbin, Durant, Ekans, Zubat, Pharisee, Honej, Zora, etc. In the future, they use their evolved forms and this type to be Bug, Steel, Poison, and Dark. I have to beat <coughs> beating the two Grunt. You head to Ikuike City where you get your first gym badge and do some exploring in town. Where before exiting, Akua comes at you charging. Claiming she's better, she has a badge, and you most likely don't mess with you. And you're thrown into a battle. Insert, insert the stronger starter because she picks the stronger starter. And a Chin Chow. This matter teasing, you easily come out on top and gleam to her your badge. Flustered, Aquila snaps out of your hand and storms off quickly. You stumble to get it, and someone steps on it. E it's Yon, and you don't know it yet, but that guy is the region champion. He smiles at you and picks it up. I believe this is yours. What, uh, what's your name? Ah, it's Blankety Blank. Good to know. Hope to see you soon. Pukon Town, the second town. It's home to many factories and warehouses. And in the biggest one, you stop Team Cassava from doing evil things. And you meet the first admin of Team Cassava. Alexio. Alex you battle Alexio and he has a hone engine and grubbin. Of course, you eventually beat him, causing his face to turn B red and punch on the wall. And scream loudly into the air. You got lucky this time, you niño pequeño. After that, you do some exploring and find some items. This is also where you can get, on, you get your bike, but not until you beat the second gym. And it's Mach and Acro like from Gen 3. Yeah, that's Gen 3. You get a choice of the color of the rainbow, aka Roy G. Biv. Brown, pink, white, or black. And Mach and Acro, as I already stated. What you pick is color wise is what you get, but you can switch Acro from Mach or vice versa. Hentofagasta. 
home to the second gym, and you call, and you once again bump into Yan as you exit after being the second gym leader. Tumuko, the third town where you get one or two fossil Pokemon, depending on the game you have. I have not yet designed the fossil Pokemon, but that's in the process. I will update you with the whole video on them later. You can also, eventually post-game, do tournaments similar to Black and White 2 games and, the, and Tumuko. Castro, it's the fourth time where you get your third gym badge here. We also, come across some cassava grunts at the entrance of the gym first. You eventually be the gym leader and get the badge, and as soon as you exit, Aqua comes rushing at you demanding battle. She has a rare shiny heart, Clefiki now, a brave old lantern I made up called Lanty, and the second stage of the star stronger starter. This is how the evolution line would work. Oops. <laughs> on route two, I don't know why I put that. Hang on. All right, that's those situated. Sorry about that. Or Sornal City, a big city owned by a nice gentle woman named Thorn, who cares for the Pokemon and has major respect for the gym leader, and gives you the cliche nugget and master balls, except she gives you a big nugget and two master balls. Or not two master balls, like fell. Here's kind of what she would look like. Shalon, home to the fourth gym, which is also a huge agricultural city. Lots of farms, barns, and ranch related Pokemon. Before you earn the badge, you once again find Alexio in front of the gym, who forces you into a double battle with a grunt. And Akua joins you. Team Cassava Grunt Female has a Butterfree and a Diglett, a Lone Edition. And Admin Alexio now has an Arbok, his that can evolve. Oh, wait, no, he has an Arbok. Uh, Hone Edge and his grub and evolved. Swell Town, a huge mining city where you can go on mining expeditions. Kind of like the diving expeditions in the Rest in Peace Pokemon Brick Bronze. And find stones, gems, and items. You also receive that fossil. Again, another video. You got forever. You also survived the fossil you got forever and a half ago. Shut that in town, a simple passerby town where you pick up a fishing rod in one of the houses. That's pretty much it, but I wanted to fill this slide up more, so shut the shuckle up. Lebu! Home to the fifth gym, also home to another team, Katsava, right on this gym. Pixie's extremely small, about the size of a pixie, in fact, he is a pixie. But we'll get into that later. You chase after Katsava into the Valvidian. Forest. Valdivian, Valdivian Forest, where you go to buy two pigs, they're a maze more annoying than Pinwheel Forest or Mount Moon. But after many wild Pokemon and Cassava Grunts, you bump to the second admin, Emilia. Emilia! She's a treasure! Emilia talking what sounds like a creepy, adorable voice. Oh, but you want this little pixie brack? Back well first. And don't say Palima my other cabeza. She has a Chinese aura, a a lonely muck, and a scraggy. Although after being Amelia, she throws pigs who had already been in her hands against the tree and she runs away. Of course you run over to pick them up. And seeing how adorable he is, you call him cute as he is a small fry. After you hear this, he snaps his fingers and you wake up, Pokemon fully healed, and you're the size of Pix, if not smaller. I'll go over more over Pix's gym and the story after the forest incident in the respectful section, the gym leader section. But after you beat him, you see Thorn, who then, after healing you, Pokemon challenges you to a battle. She has a small while, a Floa, and a cutie fly. Of course, you eventually be in Best Thorn, to which she chuckles and heals your Pokemon. Then she thanks you and walks away as Aqua walks up to you 
and greet you. And that's bad. I'll to give you an experience share. La Union. An exclusive club where the Pokemon League takes place. Or that that's what people say. Only people with 8 badges get in. It will serve as the Pokemon League. But as you only have 5 badges, you've tried to go in. You are literally thrown out. Quite High Case City. Home to the sixth gym, and you counter Amelia, who's trying to seduce the leader into giving her the gym, and are thrown into a battle with Amelia in front of the gym. She now has a Scrafty, an Alolan Muck, and a Shiny Zoroark. Despite her somewhat tough team, you end up beating Amelia, to which she starts screaming and calling you curse words such as Mierda in Spanish as she storms off, a horde of grunts following her. For this, the leader thanks you by healing your Pokemon. You can as usual, make it to the leader trainers, and they, before the battle, ask you if you've heard the mythical Pokemon, Lazupis. It shows you a picture they drew. The leader also gives it to you. Yeah, I'm not revealing that quite yet. It'll be revealed later. So she slides in, and Dimension Break, struggle fuck yeah. Dimension over, you wankses. JK, love you. After he challenges you, and you beat the gym, he he eventually tells you about the seventh leader, Andrew, and how his gym is a bit different than any other kind of gym. San Carlos, you see, cuts off a gun and run in and quickly luck the building she ran into. You try to follow her, but you can't. So it kind of sees you and catches you off guard with a battle. Third evolution of the Stronger Starter, the shiny Kefleeky Heart, and a Lantern. And Darphibian, a Pokemon I made up that's a water and poison type. I'll go more into him in the respected section. After you beat her, instead of her normal reaction, she goes, I, mi amigo, you're getting too strong. That promise will be in one day. Mark my words. Mark them! The Notary City. Open the Andrew Gym. But you got to find Andrew at the Pokemon Rehabilitation Center, which also works as a Pokemon Center for fainted Pokemon only. There's also a normal Pokemon Center in town as well. Andrew's arguing with the figure you can't make out, and you have to get through all the strongest grunts. The so grunts have Pokemon like Skarmory, Mock, Absol, Dublade, Houndoom, Dustox, Beedrill, etc. Stuff like this. At the end, you don't find any of the admins, but you do see a figure smile at the corner of their mouth and turns around, taking off their hood to reveal Thorn, the leader of Team Kesava. I know, big plot twist. I'll explain to you. She plans to take all the gyms from Oberon and half of everyone by the leader. So that would be a fair deal. But every single one refused. Andrew popped in to mention she had also had an evil look in her eye that made him feel uncomfortable. His Eevee slippers scuffing under him, his feet. Thorne stops him. Don't interrupt your elders, young lad. I've always respected the leaders. I wanted to be one. When I applied to the fairy tape gym, they didn't have me because it was too old. That price guy was a gym leader. Why can I? I was only 45. It's angered me. I was from my own little commune. In my family city, or so no one was in my family. gave the city to me. They gained a huge role from it, and they served my plans at the age 50. I had my two children, whose father had died of my birthing, to Alexio. The younger one, well, I shouldn't go into that. But well, when they each turned. When they each turned 10, I was about 45, and technically, Alexia was 12. I, as I said, got denied. When they turned 15 and 17, that's when they both became admins and hired grunts. I mean, steal from the gyms, but they stole from me. Whatever, I don't need to talk to street urchins like you. Thorn bumps your shoulder as you walk out, and Andrew begins to talk to you. Oh, thank you for getting her off my back. 
the Lonely Geed Bank. What a wonderful name. I hope to see you at my gym later. I hope it's a nice surprise for you. By the way, do you know why I volunteer? I hope Pokemon are way too interesting for a new toy to do. I have all sorts of Pokemon in this gym. In this building. Well, I hope to see you at my gym, sweetie. Oh, and no need to go to CPS. I call everyone, sweetie. Especially people I hate. If I don't hate you and... Eventually make your way to Andrew's gym. You learn it's an evolution gym. Walk over and more that in a restricted section. Eventually beat the trainers and Andrew himself. Holy glass and gives you the badge saying congratulations. But the next gym won't be easy. In fact, it's got a level of 54 to 61 Pokemon. Your level 40 Pokemon don't stand a chance. Or does it? I could be lying, yeah. For a sudden moment, he seemed grim. But then he mentions even some of the elite four struggle to beat her. This puts an unsettling lump in your throat. Andrew notices the drawing and says, Storm picked up a statue of a Pokemon looking just like that in here, in the Pokemon Rehabilitation Center. But since it's been there for the building since for a thousand years, I thought it was just a statue and they could make a replica. You get a nervous chill and head back to San Carlos. San Carlos, part two, cassava plot. Dun, 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 dun. You hear, head back to the big building and find yourself surrounded by vents in front of Thorn. Of course, the building is now unlocked. She pushes a button and they blast you through a hole in the ceiling and all the way back to the roof where Alexia immediately challenges you. I hope you use your Pokemon Don't die and Gun Rante. He now has a two blade, a thick of oak, and an Arbok. And the Grunt's got shit like this. And there are pre evolutions because why the hell not? We eventually make it halfway after beating him, who of course curses you off. And to see Amelia and the Grunt and Aqua rushing into you, knocking into you. Uh, Amelia. Ugh! Check off such the Check out the uh, stupid. I'm gonna battle and find you. Uh, cool. I've had much contact with this team, but they're really pissing me the shuckle off. Grant has muck and dust dogs. And of course, that team for dear old Amelia. Eventually, you beat her, but she just falls to her knees. The now late 30s woman crying on her knees. The four. Here's you see her face full of liquid sadness. You get to the other grounds and eventually meet Thorn, where you already started. She tosses the dust ball up into the air and catches it as she speaks. The Zupus, the stone Pokemon. It's crystals and apparently if you use it right away, hypnotize anyone. I think this thing's been dead for a thousand years anyway. Why don't you smash it for the first I'll scratch it like the urchin you are? Now Thorn has an Altaria, a Rabombi, a Stuffle, a Crystal Steelix, a, Bl a Florges, and Mega Mall Wild. Eventually, be Thorn, you see the other woman fall to her knees and fuck up the statue as she stands from the feet. <laughs> What's a Miata? Do you think I stopped just because you beat me in a Pokemon battle? What kind of idiotic leader does that? But just before she yeets into oblivion, the statue of Elizabeth begins to shake and glow before coming to life. Elizabeth is seen by Lexion and Amelia who come run into this sea yeah, as it comes to life. What a beautiful sight! Amelia said in awe. Alexio can't even take this, take his eyes off it. His eyes glowing. Her saw it and her eyes started swirling around it. She became green and tried to lunge for it. Starling it into your arms. And as it was in front of a window, Thorn leaps out the window. Sure, it's one story, but she's old, so she's mildly injured. The last you see of her is Alexia and Mia. They are thanking you for not letting her destroy Alec. Aqua meets up with you, and you explained everything, leaving her mouth agape, but then something leaps out of your arms and then gazes at you. It looks as if the Zupus wants you to catch it. You select a Pokemon to you, 
Pokeball you use and joins your team or box that can get less wall. After that, you head to the location of the final gym, cutting through the Nars again, and you meet up with Andrew, who gives you the shiny charm and the mega necklace. That's right, you don't need to complete the decks, but you do, but you will need Les Lupus and your starter both in your team to get it. So if you release your starter, then... How are you the necklace, by the way? I can't really help you there. Home, where do I seen? Home to the Ace Gym, and you go be in challenge it. You also meet up with Ian at the front of the gym, and you finally learn he, that he's the champion, and he gives you a fresh water and heads to La Union. Union. Preparing for you. And as I said, but right before the challenge, actually, my badge, you challenge and of course beat the eighth gym to which the leader only gives you a badge before the screen fades to the flag and you find yourself outside the Pokemon Center. The gym is now locked and it says, out to lunch, be back soon. With all eight badges in hand, you take the shortcut from Puerto Scene the Kohekik. K, which was locked before you beat the 8th gym. Essentially, a long cave with basically a diglet, Zubat, and a Pokemon I made up. Rock Club, which I'll get into later. Which allows you to get to La Union easier since it's on the route between the Bull and Koheki. You walk into the club, and as the original Pokemon battle music beats on, you show a muscular man and woman each of your badges. If you come in here, before, so they literally throw you out, and there's a cutscene for each one. You know, I have to pick this gym. If I forget Victory Road, ha ha ha, Union is just where you get accepted. Like itself is on top of the route, known as Puerte, Puente del Diablo, or the Bridge of Death. You get through Victory Road, and you see nothing other than. Well, after, this is basically what it's gonna be like. Akua. And now she has a Mega Lantern, which hopefully will be in. A po two Pokemon I made up called Fulamara and Belvethel. The third evolution is Stronger Charter, Kafliki, and Darphibian. You beat her and she begins to stop. I guess you are always stronger. Go be the Elite Four. If you don't, I'm going to have to find you. The Elite Four consists of Arrow, Delano, Meadow, and Caro. Arrow. Since you must face them in order, first up is Arrow, age 19. Was raised by Lincoln Rocks when he was abandoned as a baby. At age 9, he was found and taken to an orphanage, but later reunited with the Lincoln Rocks that took him in. His team consists of an Onyx. Shiny Gigalith, Rhyhorn, Cradley, um, Dawn Lincoln Rocks, and Mega Agron. That's right, the one that found him was Dawn Edition. Beat him, you do, and Santa Valeno. Once put him by the very Pedro he owns today. Falano became obsessed with poison types and gained immunity to poison. Now he's extremely lazy and always in his lucky purple robe. The poison kind of made him bad shit creepy too. His team consists of Drapion, Venusaur, Arbok, Gengar, Mega Beedrill, and Scolipede. All these shuckles side 100. Beat him, you do, and it's on to Meadow. As a little girl, Meadow has always been interested in nature, always thinking a way to hang out with grass-type Pokemon in the middle of the night. She met a lost Snowbird and took it home with her, and she stole one of her dad's Pokeballs to catch it. She was four when she got it. Her team of Toe consists of a Cacturn, Breloom, Shiftry, Superior, Shiny, Trevorant, and a Mega Ab Bomasnow. We didn't do it on the Karo, the final one. Born to a fairly poor family, Carl made it their mission to be successful. 
At the age of 10, she started... They started their own business that revolved around Pokemon clothing and quickly became wealthy and helped their family continue the business with their... This is his or her born as male. It goes right there, but doesn't mind to be called her or his, really. Normal Pokemon to help them. And employees to LMAO. He has a Dokei, Helioptile, Ampipom, Stoutland, Regigigas, Shiny Edition, and a Pidgeot. <coughs> the Mewtwo is on the champion of the L. Alec region. Yan, the Alec champion. Yan moved here from the college region around five years ago. Face off the current gyms other than Andrew, Janine was a nice type gym leader, who retired there a year after Yan moved to Alec. She had the breeze badge. It looked like a snow-tipped mountain with little crystals at the tip. You fur- He has a Luxray, Delcaddy, Skarmory, Del Fox, Chinchino, and his Mega Law Pony. Of course, you eventually be on and he crowns you champion. Takes you down to the room, yada yada yada, big party, and everyone's there, including Emily and Alexio. Blah blah blah, you may actually wake up in your room in Erica Town. Post game shit. As I mentioned, Tamuko Town. Tournaments are open, online mode, or battle people you've met throughout the region and previous gym leaders. You can also defend your title after you've beaten the Elite Four. There's also a legendary you can find in Val Val Vivian Forest, depending on what game you have. Starters a new Pokemon. Like in previous games, the three starting types are Psychic, Fighting, and Dark. Sorry, I have to keep checking if it's still recording. <laughs> Your starters are Arkitch, Woodshop, and Orb Psychic. And at level 16, they evolve into Arkzap, Chop Birch, and Orb Skadabra. At level 36, they evolve into Arc Plug, Birch Breaker, and Orb Spellia. Arkitch is the Switch Pokemon. Arkitch was a light switch that has been off until a soul flew into it, giving it a life. Arkzap is the Watt Pokemon. The soul continues to take over the light switch, making it succumb even more to the darkness. Oops. Arkitch, the switch Pokemon. Arkitch was a light switch that has been off until the soul given it alive. Arc Plug, it's a plug Pokemon. My bad. The darkness has completely taken over our plug, other than a single spark that remains. Woodchop, the wood Pokemon. Woodchop is a piece of wood that is indestructible. However, has a karate chop broken it. Chop Perch, the chop Pokemon. Now being a master of chopping, Chop Perch has a chop that can break an onyx in half. This is why the onyx man is afraid of Chop Perch and refuses to fight them. Birchbreaker, the birch Pokemon. Birchbreakers tend to be disobedient until you have six badges. It doesn't gain the ability to run out of pure stubbornness. Herb Psychic, the fortune Pokemon. Many people believe this Pokemon can predict the future, so it's very popular among people who are into fortune crap like that. Herb Skidabra, the magic Pokemon. Herb Skidabra is pure magic. It can do the unspeakable, such as walk on water. Many people back in the olden days used to burn these Pokemon for being witches. Urspelia, the teller Pokemon, now can do the unspeakable and read minds. Urspelia is a huge prankster, so sometimes projects your thoughts with its powers. We oh, yeah, I can move on the Pokemon and start a tip parade. You'll know, as far as from Pokemon from previous regions, all of them will be available, because Red and Shield failed to do that. Forest and grassland types of places. <laughs> Vinchuca, Flier, Firog, Grifa, Grifarino. Although, as for Grifarino and Firog, they're not really available because they're second stage. I'm just saying that's what they evolve into, basically. Flier falls in Firog at level 28, and Grifa into Grifa Nero. Into level 34. 
Vinchuka, the kissing bug Pokemon. Vinchukas are extremely deadly. One kiss from this Pokemon to you, and you will die instantly as it feeds, and it feeds on the remains. Flare, the firefly Pokemon. Flare's body glows at night, not only keeping it warm, but lighting its way as well. Fivorog, the warmth Pokemon. Fivorog is now able to provide enough heat for four families, and can light up one whole Castellia street. Griffa, the baby griffin Pokemon. Griffa can fly from being a hatchling, so typically they're on their own from the start. Gruffinadero, the Griffin Pokemon. Gruffinadero's are extremely loyal to their trainers and treat anyone who dares touch their trainer. One land slash water Pokemon. Lanty, Blipfosh, Dwarfibian, Koizen, and Koizen's Evolution. Koizen evolves into Koithal at level 25. Lanty, the Illuminate Pokemon. Chain challenged the Lanterns, but researchers thought for years was the way. The Lanties love extremely deep water. A group of them was found playing in Sutopla in the Sutopla's entrance one day. Blipfosh, the Blobfish Pokemon. Blipfosh have extremely gross rule that leaks out and can melt the ground. Most people can't stand the smell or sight of them. In the winter, they burrow on the ground and wrap themselves in their drool as a cocoon to hibernate for the winter. Darphibian, the Darwin Pokemon. As based on the Darwin's frog, the slimy, scaly, frog-like Pokemon is able to stick to any surface, including water and quicksand. You hear that, Bella? You piece of shit! Koizen, the overdose Pokemon. A single pep from the lips from this fish continued to the hospital. A total of 3,000 exact deaths have from this Pokemon and its evolution have been recorded. Koithal, the lethal Pokemon. Koithal's kiss can, contains enough poison to kill 25 people. Very few survive from this. Cave Pokemon. Rucklug, Salugmite. Or Waterfint and Watrumphia. I don't know why I put that there. Oh, right, that's why. Right. Rock Clog evolves in the Slugmite after you take 50,000 steps with it in your party. And what Waterfront needs a Waterfront to evolve. Kashrimp, a ground, Rock Roll, and Rock Cooster. Oh boy, here we go. Rock Roll evolves while hiding with high friendship while you're using the HM Fly. Rocklug, the cement Pokemon. Rocklug's rocks are constantly melting and hardening. They are commonly used by construction to help with roads and cement work. Some say it's a counterpart to Slugma. Slugmite, the Slagmite Pokemon. After evolving, the constant melt and harden is revealed. Poisonous minerals in the body were constantly moving around and stopping as Rocklug moves and stops. Water Fent, the Soaker Pokemon. Constantly uses the idea for children's water guns or water hoses. Waterfront is extremely playful but also loyal. If you ever heard its trainer, it shoots water that reaches over 1,000 degrees at the harbor. So it's also used as security by Officer Jenny in this region and its evolution too. While Trumphia uses heavy security, while Trumphia may not look it, but its heaviest Pokemon in existence. At 3,000 pounds, or 1,360 kilograms, however, it still loves its owner and can be very cuddly. D just don't let it leap on you. Kishrimp, the cave strip Pokemon. Kishrimp loves the dark and typically won't come out of its Pokeball in the day. It's also one of the creepiest Pokemon according to a 2018 survey. I hate this. In 2018, shut up. A ground, the Groundhog Pokemon. This Pokemon is four times weak to ice, purely due to the fact it hibernates in the winter. All of its other weaknesses, however, are divided by 0.5, as in it's only 0.5 times effective. Rockerel, the Cockerel Pokemon. Rockerel is one of the swiftest flyers, but as you fly with Rock and your friendship grows, its rock grows bigger and heavier and once big enough. Rockooster, the Rooster Pokemon. Once its friendship with you in the air is great enough, it plummets says as the rock is too heavy, at approximately 2,500 pounds, 
and it dies. But the rock did not release its soul instead, making it the new to the new body parts. Mountains are icy area Pokemon. Bell were bell with whistle popsicle terra and popsicle Centaurus so evolution. Popsicle evolves via ice stone, bell were evolves via with a Sue Bell and or a leaf stone and t- Tara evolves to level forty. And Vinchuka is also in this part, so I won't be go- going over it again. And Fulamora also exists here. Bellwer, the greenhouse Pokemon. Bellwer sound can even put Jigglypuff to sleep mid song. And if one falls to sleep, it uses absorb to drain all the energy from the user. Consider Jigglypuff's and Morlow's biggest rivals. Bell Whistle, the grass whistle Pokemon. Its music can be heard throughout one city, no matter the size. Popsicle, the popsicle Pokemon. It is actually edible raw, but eating one raw is considered illegal, and whoever eats it gets 40 to life in prison. They are also a rare catch due to them being extremely endangered. Pops the Glacier, the Glacier Pokemon. This Pokemon's body is so cold that it's rumored that Mount Latakila is too hot for this Pokemon, thus making it extremely tough to live on. Approximately 11 a year survive out of the current... 88 remaining. Tara, the Earth Pokemon. It's rumored that a single Tara can s- carry seven Torterras on its back without exhaustion. Terraria, the Terraria Pokemon. This Pokemon is able to live to approximately 20 Cosmolem, making it the strongest Pokemon able to lift 44,080 pounds or approximately 19,995 kilograms. Pokemon that can be found in this sky. Lol, 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 lol. No, that flies in which Mega Latios is flu. Fly or Mega Evolved, except now not Mega Evolved. Lol. A Rubble. Laminga. And Desculo. Heart Bubble. The sterilized Pokemon. Heart Bubble finds and traps wounded, injured, sick, or nearly dead Pokemon. And instead, its whole body and heals them with the powers inside and releases them when fully recovered. If it grows attached to it, of all that trainer, person, or Pokemon until caught by said person or trainer, or until that Pokemon accepts it as a friend, Nurse Choi has these as her assistant. Laminga, the tiny flamingo Pokemon. This Pokemon used to be a water flying type until the discovery of the fairy type. After discovering. Flamingo's special warmth healing powers, the flying type was moved from it. It can still learn a lot of flying type moves, including fly, though. The Skulo, the reclusive Pokemon, once an adorable Pokemon, loving people, and whatnot, poachers started to hunt and kill them for making hats or clothes, until it came down to one little Duskulo. When it was known as the Chirp Pokemon, it hid in a little sc- scrub and hid. It found an injured one and delivered it to an R bubble. And they decide to only be detected by song. Encountering one is extremely rare. They also repopulated the Deskula species a bit. Graveyards such spoopy doopy places, Pokemon. Grakian, Watukin, Gratukin. Wasty, Humi, Kalurv. Gratukin, Watukin, Grakian, the Jack o' Lantern Pokemon. These three Pokemon are combo of all the original starting types. Latukin and Grekin are more common as Gratukin is powered by special water rather than fire. They are all in the same category but are extremely different in this per- personality. Latukin is the hardest to train as it's stubborn, while Grekin is much sweeter. Gratukin is a mystery at the given moment. We see the canned Pokemon. This Pokemon is commonly used by garbage workers to store waste. Once done, waste you can teleport the trash to a dimension, to a different dimension out of it. If a kid hops into the trash can, the kid will go missing too. Humi, the Humita Pokemon. A famous baker who made savory pastries technically cooked a sleeping egg Zutor into his dish, but somehow the soul in it remained alive in its yellow trail. He, at least behind, is a popular 
and it's a popular item used in cooking and used by a lot of cooks. Kalerv, the test pattern Pokemon. Two rolled Hamon's full into the television at the exact same moment and could not get out. They worked together and became Kalerv. Multiple incidents in the early 2000s were reported. Legendaries and titles. As for titles, they will be Pokemon Flora and Pokemon Fauna. I feel like these are such great titles for Pokemon and they haven't been used yet. So there. Cat Coda, the Grass and Rock Legendary. This legendary is based off the smallest cat, the Cod Cod, and will be available in Pokemon Flora, and will be a Grass Rock type. The simple one will be a bunch of things throughout the game. Its ability is a new one I call Moss Builder. It grows a temporary shield of moss, which boosts both of its defense and speed by times two. Its main move is Mossify, which, in which a giant ball of moss it heaves out the Pokemon. This increases accuracy after the choose by nine times two. And Pudir, a dark ground type. Legendary is based off of the South American deer known as Dupudu, and I would have drawn a neck if I didn't suck at it. It has a neck slightly shorter than a giraffe rig and its ability is horn hormone, which causes it to grow horns for the rest of battle, unlike its horns now, but like they grow bigger. Unlike Cat Cotta, whose ability lasts three turns, Pudu is all unlike Cat Cotta, whose ability only lasts three turns. Pudu is only available in Pokemon Fauna, and its main move is Dig Rigging, which allows it to use Dig. Without the one turn weight, but also increases evasiveness by two. Gym leaders and badges, the final section. Leader one, Dragol, type dragon. The team you get is Dragon Rage. This is what he looks like, his main partner. Dragol was raised in the exact same city as Iris, except after she became gym leader and passed. Dragol is currently 60 and 58 years ago, an old passing Iris would tell about the child who defeated the Team Plasma once where a team of Fang spread. An old team there. He moved to the Alec region and became a leader to fight back. Dragol's gym would be walking around the dragon symbol, like the Pokemon type, with random spurts of fire that, if you touch, turn out to be fire breathers, who challenges you to a battle. Once you get to Dragol, at the tip of the tail... You face him who has an axe you and a shiny gibble. Then you get the Dracone badge. Leader 2, Soul. Type ground to DM you get his magnitude. Or in a player to have seen, Soul trained with ground type Pokemon against Janine and trained hard. He looks young, but when he turned 10 is the year Janine resigned. He also was voted hottest in Intelvagasta. Soul's gym would be similar to the fifth gym in Poke in the deceased Pokemon Bronze. And what you do is tools given to you by the gym trainers as you dig around searching for soul. Llama Train Studios, please don't sue me. L M A O. He has a Glide score. Or is that no, that's a Glygar. That's a Glygar. And a Sandy Gas. There's that palisade. I can never remember. And there's an excavation badge that you get from it. Leader 3, Gen. Type Fairy. And the TM is Moonlight. From a young age, Jen has proven to be very flamboyant and outgoing, seeing from as young as three years old. In her mid-twenties, Jen works hard to balance pop life and gym life. She took heavy influence from Roxy. Jen's gym would be like Koga's, except that you find the path as you step along the path. The gym trainers are also hidden. She has a cur Curlia, Togetic, and uh, Sylveon. And you get the hologram badge. Leader 4, Ani. Type Ghost. In the TM, you get a Shadow Sneak. From a baby, Ani's life was bad. The only thing that gave her joy was grandma's, was her grandma's ghastly, which later became her Gengar. Ani's gem would be unique rather than the path being invisible. 
you yourself in the path are invisible. The only thing visible is your shadow and the trainers. Honey would have a, a ghastly, a haunter, and a Gengar. And you would get the phantom badge. Leader 5, good old Pix, type bug, TM, X scissor. Nobody really knows what Pix is. He just, well, he's, we think he's a Pixie. Just don't call him cute or I'll fuck with you. Seriously, he can think he's one of him, you ding. Pix is Jim, it's like Brawly's original gem in Ruby Sapphire and Emerald, except rather than being dark, it's covered in webs and you're small. But as you beat trainers, you grow bigger. And, by the way, if you lose, you do get sent back and you're re shrunk and it's redone. Except you don't have to beat the trainers, can you? Just have to find your way again. Scizor, Yanmega, Levani, and Joltik. And you get the wet badge. Leader 6, Merk. Type Fire Cam Fire Blast. Merk's name is a huge mystery. As he is silent and mysterious himself. The name may, the main makes, but the name makes no sense to anyone. M.A. from Magma it would make sense, but he denies that. He's never moved and traveled unless his stuff on Lazupas, which he only ever got pictures of. Mark Shem would be simple. Move across the burners as they aren't lit. If you get lit, you are sent back to the start, and a trainer comes to battle you. There's a star there are seven trainers after a seventh light up. You'll be escorted and have to re enter the gym where you re have to reface everyone. He has a uh, heat more I know, I lied about the levels. Ha 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 ha. I'm so evil as Andrew. Ha ha ha. Heat more Rapidash, Nine Tails and a Chandelure. And you get the steam badge. Leader seven, Andrew, please don't sue me. Evolution squad. In a TM, you get his charm. I know it's a shitty TM, but it increases your attack by a lot. Thank me. Ever since the age of four, truth, Andrew has li lived anything even related. But loved all Pokemon just the same, except for Tata. Go fuck yourself for Tata. But still help them out and all other Pokemon in the Rescue Center as much as they could and develop the powerful team of its OG EV Kai and some of its evolutions. Andrew's gym is a large labyrinth with... Thank you, Lefion, too. With all the trainers only having one Pokemon, one of the evolutions, including Eevee. But you must defeat every trainer before Andrew even notices you. Eevee is his top priority. Yeah, I kind of lied. <laughs> Your Pokemon are this level, by the way, then. This high, but then. Just don't worry. Shh. is level 57, Umbreon's level 58, Lakeshine's level 59, Vaporeon level 60, Leafheon level 61, and Eevee's level 62. And you get the evolution badge. This took me an hour to draw. You better fucking respect it. Leader 8, Ayala. Type Dark. The time you get Snarl. Nobody knows what she looks like aside from close friends, such as gym leaders and childhood friends, along with family. Most well, people are too scared to ask her because of the creepy voice she has, but she says the sweetest, cutest things ever heard. Kind of like Amelia, but better. Ayala's gym would be four elevators, four floors. Go into one. If it's right, congrats, you get to move on. Other than the one waiting at two. Other than the one waiting two. Two at the top of the elevator. Basically, would be F1, the one you go to after. There's three right, one wrong. BF2, two, two right, two wrong. BF3, I meant to type one right, three wrong. Just pretend. Just pretend that says one right, three wrong. And BF4 will be the final trainer and Ayala. If you choose wrong, you're sent back up to the top where the elevators are randomized each time. You fail to pick correctly. Or it might be the same. Who knows? Who cares? Ayala has a level 63 Mandibuzz, 64, 
64 Crafty, 66 Trapion, 67 for both Absol, and Fear Tomb, and her Bisharp is level 60, 68. Yeah, and her Bisharp can Mega Evolve. And you get the Dim Badge. Holy shuckle. Two hundred forty sites later, and I finish. Or she is chuckling celebi. Like and subscribe, and maybe I'll do another. I'm going to bed.